Ciao! Welcome to ID Survey 8 debut. Many of the new features come directly from your feedback, so we know you will love this new version. Let's start with new question types and questionnaire design. Custom alerts. This is one of the most requested features. How many times you wanted to add a check to verify that the total of a matrix was exactly 100, or compared to a number indicated in a previous question? Or more simply, you wanted to verify that one answer was consistent with another. Until now, you had to use custom workaround and scripts. Now, you can insert controls on any page of the questionnaire and warn the respondent with a custom text. To add an alert, you must click on the gear button on the page. At this point, you must specify the text to be displayed and the display condition. In this case, we check that the total indicated in the numerical matrix is exactly 100. We add the alert, we insert the text, for example, uh, attention, uh, the total does not make 100, correct before continuing. At this point, uh, we add the condition. So, um, if q1.1 plus q1.2 plus q1.3 is different than 100. During the interview, when you click on the next button, the control is run. If, as in this case, the total does not make 100, the alert is displayed and the user will not be able to move on until he has fixed the data. What happens if we want to, the message to appear but without preventing the user from going to the next page? In this case, we can activate the soft alert option and edit the text with a more suitable one. For example, um, attention, the total does not make 100. Are you sure you want to confirm and continue? Returning to the interview, we can see that when the alert is shown, the user can still confirm and move to the next page. This is just a quick example of how you can use the new alerts, but you can create them with any display condition to perform checks of any complexity and even add more alerts on the same page. Alerts support both text piping and dynamic text. The new Show as buttons option allows you to view single or multiple questions with a new user-friendly look. Here, for example, we can see a multiple question displayed with buttons. Another option allows us to arrange the answer options horizontally, as in this example. And this configuration is also perfect for NPS questions. Now, let's talk about a new option that makes the compilation of matrix questions easier and more understandable, the carousel. Carousel shows one line at a time and automatically scrolls to the next line. Simply activate the option in any matrix to turn it into a carousel. If the matrix rows are single select, as in this case, the advancement is automatic. The new show as buttons and carousel options, as well as the rating, slider and drag and drop, should not be understood as simple graphical changes, but as tools to improve the user experience of the questionnaire. Compared to a questionnaire full of grids and open answers, a user-friendly questionnaire will certainly have a lower dropout rate. iDeserve 8 presents also the MaxDiff question. The MaxDiff question allows you to ask which attribute is the worst and which is the best, or the least important and most important. As you can see in this example, there are a series of attributes side by side with two columns of buttons. 
On the left, you can select which attribute is the most important, while on the right, you can indicate which is the least important. ID Survey 8 also adds option to change the behavior of the matrix, making them incredibly flexible for specific uses without using any script. We have the exclusive columns option that prevents you from selecting the same answer on different rows. And this solution is useful to create ranking grids as an alternative to the drag and drop question. In addition, the mandatory columns option is available if you want to answer not only the questions in each row, but all the columns too. These new features can be combined with each other and with those already available in the matrix. And this allows you to create custom matrix for the most peculiar needs. For example, you can make rows optional and columns mandatory so to create an inverted matrix. In addition to changing the behavior of the matrix, there are also options to change the layout. We can reduce the width of the matrix, and this is the best option to create forms, as in this case. Or show the matrix question also on mobile devices with most small screens, or uh, show one line at a time as if they were many separate questions. All these options allows you to customize and set even very peculiar matrix questions without using scripts. ID Survey 8 also adds new special question types, perfect for Kawi and Kapi surveys. This is the signature question, perfect for touch devices, but also compatible on computers with mouse or trackpad. Then uh, we have the question upload file. And you can specify the allowed file types. Uh, in this question, for example, you are asked to upload a PDF file. Then we have uh, multimedia questions. Photo question, video question, and audio question. The photo question was already available in ID Survey, but uh, in this version, there is an important news. This new type of question is not just asking you to upload a file, but allows you to record live directly from the browser, without even uh, leaving the interview. This is the photo question. If you use a compatible browser, when you click on it, um, you will be asked whether you want to upload an existing photo or take a new one. For example, uh, you may ask for a photo of the respondent or to take the photo to a document. And this is perfect solution if you are using ID Survey for our recruitment. Then we have the audio question. We can use it to request vocal feedback for the respondent to detail their options rather than in a long text area. And this question type maybe is more useful for qualitative analysis than for quantitative one. And finally, we have the video question. This is also useful for qualitative surveys, but also for mystery shopping and other uses. Until now, photos uploaded by users were saved in the database. This means a large amount of data that in some cases could affect the performance of the platform. With um, ID Survey 8, we have revolutionized media management by providing a dedicated disk space to keep the database lighter. As a result, it's now possible to manage large amount of files, including high-definition video, without adversely affecting ID Survey performance. Each customer will have at his disposal 5 GB of disk space, totally free of charge. And for those who make uh, extensive use of the media, and especially for video demand, Upgrades are available to 250 GB at a cost of 299 euros per year and 500 GB at 499 euros per year. Let's move now on to the new copy methodology. With ID Survey 8, you can finally use the test mode on the copy app. By activating the test mode, agents can download the survey and test the questionnaire without affecting the licenses and without messing the real data. Thanks to the colored bar, the agent will clearly now uh, know that he is now working in test mode. 
And when this administrator puts the real server online and the agent does the synchronization, a message communicates uh, that from that moment on, the real interviews will be collected and the interface returns to the standard view. We know that the management of agent uh, scattered through, through the territory is not all easy, and so we have set limits. After an interviewer has started working in real interviews, he will no longer be able to go back to test mode in that device. And this eliminates any possibility of confusion and prevents the involuntary elimination of coll collected interviews. But that's not all. Every time you want to test a questionnaire in a device, you need to open the app, enter the ID survey link, the questionnaire number, the username and password of the agent. Uh, these are simple steps, but particularly annoying if you have to repeat over and over again every time we make changes and new tests on our copy device. So we have found a solution to skip all these annoying steps. Thanks to QR codes found in the lists of agents assigned to Capi, you just need to frame them with your smartphone or tablet camera, and boom, the Capi app synchronizes and enters the questionnaire instantly. This is a small feature that will save you a lot of time. Now let's talk about another novelty of the much-awaited Capi methodology, silent audio recording. By activating the option in the settings, all CAPI interviews will be recorded. Thanks to the GPS position recording, you will be able to supervise the work of the agents and the quality of the collected interviews. And in addition, thanks to a new flow script function, you will be able also to record even parts of the interviews only. Administrators will be able to listen to the recordings from the contacts page, or download all recordings from the contacts list options. The synchronization of files and interviews has been completely rewritten, bringing numerous advantages. The uploading of interviews is now faster and more efficient, even for service with multimedia questions. But there is another important new feature. The CAPI now fully supports mixed mode surveys. With ID Survey 8, even partial interviews are synchronized with the server, and this allows, for example, to start an interview on CAPI and complete it with CATI and vice versa. You can even pass a partial interviews from CAPI to another agent or retrieve all synchronized interviews, even if you change devices. The procedure to reopen the complete CAPI interviews has also become very simple. Now it is enough for an administrator to click on reopen interview and after the synchronization, the agent will be able to access the interview immediately. ID Survey 8 brings news also in the CAT interface. We improved the contrast and eliminated nuances to improve readability and therefore the work of the interviewers. And for the same reason, some fonts have been replaced, such as telephone numbers and codes. Now the agent inter interface is much clearer and essential. There is also a much anticipated new functionality for the CAT interface. The use of the mouse, although practical, can affect the efficiency of agents. Using only the keyboard to fill in interviews, initiate calls, and mark the results can visibly increase the speed of the interviewers. ID Survey introduces key entry. It is very easy to use, but it has a sophisticated engine to make key entry really convenient. You don't even need to change settings to activate it. Uh, from the main screen, simply press Enter to access the interview. The system detects uh, that the agent is using the keyboard and automatically activates the key entry. The answer option codes are shown and highlighted and the arrow indicates which question the focus is in. To answer, simply type the desired option code and the focus moves immediately to the next question. In case of open-ended answers or multiple choice, you need to press enter to confirm. With the Tab and Shift Tab key, or, or using the mouse, you can move between the questions on the page. 
by pressing enter, you always go to the first question not yet answered. And when all mandatory questions are filled in, uh, the focus moves to the next key. There is also an option to automatically advance to the next page. The key entry with automatic next page is also particularly suitable for data entry tasks. You can enable and disable these options from the agent icon or simply by typing uh, any key and disable it by typing ESC. By pressing the Alt-M keys, you can access the outcome menu. Using the arrows, you can move between options and menus. A clear list of keyboard commands is always available in the agent menu so that they can easily learn all shortcuts. ID Survey 8 also adds new features to Kawi methodology, in addition to the new questions we, we have already talked about. Recaptcha functionality has been added to prevent access to both interviews. Recaptcha is extremely useful when posting a link to a site or social network. Then, a specific redirect has been added for complete but over quota interviews for a specific redirect, as requested by some panel providers. Moreover, to facilitate testing and previewing on mobile devices, a QR code is available for immediate access to the interview simply by framing it with the camera, as we've just seen for Capi. The QR code is available on the copy link button and in the actions menu of each contact if you want to access the interview of a specific one. ID Survey 8 includes other small innovations and important performance improvements. Uh, updates will start this week. To conclude, we would like to leave you with a few small previews. Uh, we are already working on big news that will be available during 2021. The first one is the integrated soft phone. No physical phone, no third-party soft phone. Using CATI will be even easier. The second one is the CATI supervisor. It's a powerful tool for the analysis of the interviewer's performance in real time. Uh, complete with advanced tools to control the work of the agents and many metrics uh, for a fully customizable view. Uh, supervisor represents a real revolution for ID Service CATI. And lastly, analysis and report export. ID Service powerful new reporting and analysis tool will go a step further by exporting to PDF, PowerPoint and other formats. For any question or other information, please do not hesitate to contact us through our usual super channels. Thanks for watching. Ciao.